Ohio University libraries are committed to working with faculty to promote their research into the larger scholarly community. In continuing with our commitment, we are now active members of the Open Researcher and Contributor ID community, or ORCID. Creating your ORCID profile is a simple way to promote your scholarship, enhance your academic identity, while claiming your scholarly and creative output. Your ORCID is a unique identifier connected to a digital resume or CV you can use to consolidate all of your scholarly and professional accomplishments. Additionally, your ORCID profile will help you distinguish you from other scholars across academia. But why would you want to spend time creating yet another digital profile? Yes, this seems annoying, but the return on your time is certainly worth it. Many journal publishers, funders, repositories, even institutions are increasingly using and even requiring ORCIDs. For example, over 7,000 journals from many large publishers are using ORCID to make article submissions easier for researchers. And increasingly, funding organizations are asking grant applications to link their funding history. And ORCID is an easy way to meet this criterion as a persistent, unique identifier of you and your work. Further, your ORCID profile makes it easier to populate biographical and disclosure forms to comply with federal funding requirements. By keeping your ORCID up to date, you will reduce the time you spend repeatedly filling out the same data on future manuscript submissions and grant applications. Your ORCID profile isn't only for saving time with submitting manuscripts or grant applications. Scholars often use their ORCID profile to promote themselves by including it in their email signature, journal articles, conference presentations, and personal and professional websites. Rest assured, you have complete control over who can see what information from your profile. You can also include all your named identities as a scholar within your ORCID profile. Scholars may be published under variations of their name or change their name in the future. The ORCID platform even supports non-Latin-based characters. To maximize the usefulness of your ORCID profile, we strongly encourage you to fill out the employment and education sections of your profile. While we hope that you will be a part of the Bobcat community for a very long time, remember that your ORCID belongs to you and nobody else. So no matter where your career and education take you, you can continue to build upon it as you progress through your career. It's not just articles or grants that can be included into your profile. A wide variety of scholarly and creative works can be included. These different works can include patents, datasets, artistic performances, technical standards, lectures, and even software are all among the many different output types that are welcome to be placed in your ORCID profile. No matter what your scholarly and creative outputs may be, you can automatically import them from aggregators such as Scopus or publication linking sites like Crossref, or you can manually add them to your profile. Creating your ORCID profile is a free and easy way to digitally consolidate all of your employment, education, research, creative output, and grant funding into a single digital location. Please visit Ohio University Libraries or contact your librarian to learn more about creating your own ORCID ID.